10 Most Infamous Cyber Crimes Ever Cyber warfare appears to be dominating the news lately. Cyber warfare is the use of digital attacks to attack a nation, causing similar damage to actual warfare and or damaging critical computer systems. There is much disagreement among specialists on the definition of cyber warfare, as well as whether such a thing exists at all. The internet landscape has been transformed into a binary war. Whether it is a covert organization hacking computers for fun, or accused government agencies attempting to steal confidential material, what do you need a pistol for when you have a keyboard? Software companies work a lot to tackle hacking, yet many new attacks come forward. Hi guys, welcome back to Astonishing Top 10, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the 10 most infamous cyber crimes ever. But before we start, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Now, without any further delay, let's begin. At number 10, we have Hacker Steals Tens of Millions of Credit Card Details T. Gonzalez, a Miami-based hacker, was responsible for one of the largest fraud cases in U.S. history. Gonzalez was in charge of securing tens of millions of credit and debit card numbers from more than 250 financial organizations. He had compromised the payment card network of organizations such as the 7-Eleven convenience store chain. Gonzalez pled guilty in December after being charged in at least three separate hacking instances in three different jurisdictions. Number 9. Internet Attacked in 2002, a cyber attack on all 13 domain name system root servers in the United States nearly brought the internet to a halt. It was a DDoS attack that lasted an hour. While it may not seem like a long time, the scale of the onslaught was the most concerning. At the time, federal authorities in the United States regarded the strike as the greatest and most complicated in history. For one hour, internet servers were heavily stressed, and users were unlikely to suffer any consequences. However, if the attacks had persisted any longer, the internet would have come to a halt. Number 8. The Melissa Virus It was a simple virus that resulted in $80 million in losses. The Melissa Virus infects Microsoft Word documents and then spreads itself as an email attachment. It would send emails to the top 50 names listed in the Outlook email address box of an infected PC. Despite the fact that Melissa's inventor, David Smith, stated that he did not intend for the virus to cause harm to computers, he was caught and sentenced to 20 months in prison. Antivirus software sales, incidentally, skyrocketed that year. Number 7. Solar Sunrise Initially believed to be the work of Iraqi operatives, a systematic cyber attack was conducted in the United States, seizing control of over 500 government and private computer systems. Because the hackers were targeting machines running the Sun Solaris operating system, the group attacks were dubbed Solar Sunrise. To investigate the situation, the US government collected a variety of defense agencies including the FBI and Defense Information Systems Agency. To everyone's amazement, no Iraqi operatives were involved in the hacking. Three California youths were arrested as a result of the investigations. While the case for Solar Sunrise was closed, the attacks demonstrated how a coordinated effort might impact a whole country's IT infrastructure. Number 6. Hacker Targets Scientology in January 2008, a New Jersey teenager and gang of hackers conducted a DDoS attack that knocked the Church of Scientology's website offline for several days. Anonymous is a group that is vehemently opposed to the religion. Dmitry Guzner, 19, was charged with and convicted of the DDoS attack. The maximum penalty was 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine, but he was only sentenced to two years probation and ordered to pay $37,500 to the Church of Scientology. A second man has been charged in connection with the attack. Number 5. Phone lines blocked to win Porsche Kevin Polson is well known for hacking into the Los Angeles phone system in order to win a Ferrari in a radio contest. 
The 102nd caller received a Porsche 944 S2 from LAKIIS-FM. Polson ensured his success by seizing control of the phone network and effectively blocking incoming calls to the radio station's phone line. He won the Porsche, but the police caught up with him, and he received a five-year prison sentence. Polson went on to become the senior editor of Wired News, an IT security journal. Number 4. Teen Hacks NASA and U.S. Defense Department It was the year 1999. Jonathan James was only 15 years old at the time, yet what he accomplished that year earned him a position in the Hackers Hall of Fame. James had infiltrated a U.S. Department of Defense Division systems and planted a back door on its servers. He was able to intercept hundreds of internal communications from various government organizations, including those revealing usernames and passwords for various military computers. As a result of this, using the stolen information, James was able to steal a component of NASA software, costing the Space Exploration Organization $41,000 in system downtime for over a three-week period. According to NASA, the software, worth $1.7 million, controlled the International Space Station's physical environment, including temperature and humidity control within the living space. James was later apprehended, but due to his young age, he received a low sentence. After being suspected of working with other hackers to steal credit card information, he committed suicide in 2008. In his suicide letter, James disputed the claim. Number 3. Google China Hit by Cyber Attack When Google's Chinese headquarters discovered a security breach in mid-December, it opened a can of worms, pun intended, that implicated the Chinese government. Hackers got access to many Google business systems, stealing intellectual property. Google stated on a blog that it had evidence to imply the attacker's primary purpose was obtaining the Gmail accounts of Chinese human rights activists. As the organization delved more, they discovered that multiple Gmail accounts from the United States, China, and Europe had been routinely accessed without permission. These emails belonged to human rights activists in China. All eyes were drawn to the Chinese government, which has long been accused of flagrantly violating human rights. Google entered the Chinese market in 2006 with www.google.cn and succumbed to China's strict internet censorship policy. The cyber attacks in December 2009 caused the company to reconsider its operations in the country. Google moved its servers from google.cn to Hong Kong in March 2010 to avoid China's internet censorship regime. Number 2. Mafia Boy Causes $1 Billion in Damages Michael Kause, aka Mafia Boy, was another 15-year-old who sowed havoc in cyberspace. Kause, now 25, was a Canadian high school student in 2000 when he decided to launch a DDoS attack against a number of big-profile commercial websites including Amazon, CNN, eBay, and Yahoo. According to one industry analyst, the attacks resulted in a $1.2 billion damage bill. He was eventually caught. Kalse was sentenced to eight months in open detention in 2001, since he was still a minor, implying that his movements and acts would be restricted. The court also restricted his web access. Kalse has now worked as a pundit and published a book about his ordeal. Number 1. Robert Tappan Morris and the Morris Worm Morris, a student at Cornell University in the United States and the creator of the first computer worm spread via the internet, said that his child was not intended to damage but was created for the peaceful purpose of determining the vastness of cyberspace. When the worm encountered a critical mistake, it mutated into a virus, which quickly duplicated and began infecting other systems, resulting in a denial of service. What is the cost? 6,000 PCs were apparently damaged, costing between 10 and 100 million dollars in repairs. While this may be attributed to an unfortunate accident, it undoubtedly had a role in motivating the heinous distributed denial of service DDoS attacks that we witness today. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. 
If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comment section below. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it and press that bell icon so that you will be notified each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos that are appearing on your screen. We will see you there. Take care and stay tuned.